sun exposure was by far the strongest predictor ever found for whether or not a kid is going to get eczema. So the more sun that kids got, the less eczema they got, right? And so now when I read that, and then I think back on when did the eczema epidemic, where we see so many more people with eczema nowadays, start? It started right around the same time that it was discovered or really understood that sun burns are a cause of melanoma. And we started telling parents, oh, your child should never be outside in unprotected sun. They should always have sunscreen on. They should be in the shade. They should get no sun at all, no unprotected sun, that we were going to prevent skin cancer later in life. So first, we have no proof that that's true. We have zero proof that avoiding sun as a child prevents uh, skin cancer later in life. Zero proof on that. Other dermatologists still make that recommendation all the time. What this study showed me is that it, it may be that the cause of the eczema epidemic has been not that there's some new chemical that kids, some new chemical or artificial thing, or the kids are getting exposed, you know, it's not phthalates or it's not, it's really that we've taken away a natural thing that your body needs. And because we know that sunlight directly affects the immune system in your skin and it directly affects your blood and it directly affects how strong your skin barrier is. Everything that sunlight does for your body is anti-eczema and anti-allergy. And so I, I now tell my patients who have eczema when they have kids, make sure that your child gets as much unprotected sun as you can possibly have them get starting from birth. You want to make absolutely sure they don't get a sunburn. Sunburns are just bad. Sunburns are a sign that you've overdosed on sun. So you never want to get a sunburn, but as much unprotected sun exposure as they can is the best protective, in my opinion, by far the best way that we have to protect a child from getting eczema.